So, welcome students, your teacher Hari Ram Dikkota here. Today we are going to establish a relationship related to liquid pressure. That is P equals to S delta G. That is often even written as P equals to S DG at your level. Where the symbols have their usual meanings. Now, let us move ahead to establish this relationship students. Here you can see the question that's already written over here. And in order to prove this, first of all, let us begin with the diagram. Let us suppose that the inner cross section area of this container is A and the density of the liquid over here is D. And at the same time, yet is the depth of the liquid present in this container that is even represented by the steady structure inside the vessel. Now, the same information, dear students, we will write in the form of a language in a third paragraph. Let's begin. Consider a liquid having density D and depth H kept in a container having cross section area that is inner cross section area having inner cross section area A. Now, pressure given by the liquid at its bottom is pressure given by the liquid at its bottom that is to be understood at the that is to be understood to the container is represented by P and can be calculated with the formula, standard formula of pressure that is equals to F divided by A. Now students, this F represents the force with which the liquid exerts Now students, this F represents the total force that the liquid exerts to its bottom which is equal to the weight of the liquid itself. That's why we can write this is equal to Mg divided by calculator A. And please write down why the symbols are being changed over here because F is the weight, this is equal to Mg. And again, it is equal to volume times density and then times G that is the G which is brought from the above that is the G which is brought from the above line whole divided by A and students in this particular case the reason of this change in this 
line is that we have brought it from the relationship of density that is equal to mass per unit volume that gives the relationship mass equals to density times volume or simply volume times density. And again this is equal to volume again means area times height and then again density that is written with D and G again over here whole divided by the letter A. And students here what we need to understand is that it is because volume equals to L times B times H and over here L times B means you can understand area times height that is why volume means area times height that is why we have replaced V with A times H. And now, and now here you can see that the symbol A in the numerator and in the denominator can be cancelled. That gives a relationship yes D G finally. And as a conclusion you can write hence liquid pressure liquid pressure that is P is equals to that is P is equal to H D G hence it is proved. This is how you can Prove the relationship P equals to SDZ. Thank you.